It's all about fishing. It's all about hunting. It's all about the great outdoors. And it's all about Outdoors with Captain Roy and Cheryl. Good morning, folks, and welcome to the show. I'm Captain Roy. And I'm Cheryl Little, and we're at the Bear Creek Lodge today. We sure are. Hey, let me do something. I told this lady I'd do it. This uh, lady cut my hair the other day. She said, now, I've got that cut so pretty. Now, you, you show it on TV. Jody Pitts, <laughs> she got a barbershop down there on 2301. See, I gave you a commercial. Now, I'm going to put my cap back on, Jody. <laughs> you did a good job, Jody. <laughs> yeah. you, cl you clean up well. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And uh, Cheryl, we've uh, we've got a fishing report from uh, Jody, guy Jody Wells uh, this morning. We talk, I talked to that rascal over there. He just knowing it to be it, wanting want to go <laughs> fishing. Jody gives a real good report. Jody says that the Crappy are on the beds, the shell cracker are gathering around the beds, and the bass are also in the holes. He said 25 pounds won the bass tournament last Saturday. Yeah, they had a tournament up there, and uh, 25 pounds. It was that, bad, as I remember, yeah, it was bad, rainy, wet, windy. And, yeah. And they windy, and they still, 20, that's the average, five pounds of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Bass are biting up there too, folks. <laughs> so, y'all. I tell you, I ran into Nat Harris. Um, he is such a nice fella, and he showed me a picture of uh, the brim and crappy that he caught. And I, I mean, the truck was just loaded on the back of the bed. There's three of them that went out, and they got their limit in no time. And he had a mess of fish. So, I'm hearing really good reports, freshwater wise. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know Nat freshwater fish too much. He like well, he looks like he was real good at it. He had a mess of fish. He looked like he knew what he was doing. <laughs> he uh, does a lot of uh, fishing in the bay for grouper and catches some. But of course, grouper season closed, and uh, then when the snapper season comes in, he's out there snapper fishing. He, Joe, uh, Nat likes to fish by the good of somebody mm -hmm. else I know of, and. Uh, Cheryl, you and I have got to go fishing. We do. We're going to try to get one in and do some shoot some film this uh, this week. We've got to get some, we got some we're about out of film. You Just know, about. We, I we, think you're showing your last one today. We're fishing to go fishing, and I'm going fishing today with Joe and Harry Ivy. The one that invented the snap hook, and uh, they said go, he said he's going fishing with the uh, winner of last week's Jody Wells. Trip. That's right, and I ran into both of them at the Florida Sportsman Show. Super nice fellas, what? nice guys. Uh, I, yeah, they go and fish. Jody, you just look out. These folks are coming over there to go fishing with you. <laughs> put them on some fish now. <laughs> and let's take a break, and I'm gonna come back and, and do some fishing with Joe and Harry. I surely enjoyed that. Those, those fellas, trip. we caught and five found some fish. Mm -hmm. Take a break. We'll be right back. I tell you what I like about corn. I like the food, I like the price, I like the quality, I like the quantity of it. But what I like most about corn steak and egg is I like that friendly atmosphere that I always find when I dine out there. It's owned and operated by Linda and Willie Corn. They are the original and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're breakfast out of this world. And my favorite is the world famous Corn Heavenly Hash. Corn Steak and Egg, 804 South Tyndall Parkway. Panama City living is simply better without glasses. The Eye Center of North Florida offers the most advanced surgeries, including lifestyle lens implants for cataract patients and custom view blade free LASIK. Both procedures leave you with clear vision and in most cases, glasses free. The Eye Center of North Florida. Nine doctors, one vision. 
When you think of a successful hunting season, two things come to mind. Browning and CNG Sporting Goods. Browning is the best there is, and CNG Sporting Goods is your factory direct full line Browning dealer. CNG stocks Browning guns, camo, knives, scopes, gun safes, bows, and much more, including hunting and fishing license. Look over the new Browning BAR camo short fright and X-Bolt rifles. Why pay good money for anything less than a Browning? Browning and CNG, the best there is. Home of the experts. Back there on the back, I got Mr. Joe Ivy. I've been fishing with him quite a few times. Joe, Joe invented a, a snapping hook, and I fish with them, and they're good. It, it snaps on his lip when you bite him, and uh, that's Harry. Harry, Ivy, where are you from, Harry? Long Beach, California. Long Beach, California. Hey. Yes, sir. Welcome to Florida. Thank you. I love Florida. It's a wonderful and, uh, place. Hey, uh, I mean, Joe, tell that story again about old John Farr. You remember when John Farr first fished, or you first fished with the uh, lip lasso hook, and you took John Farr out, and you hooked a big redfish, and you got it right up to the edge of the boat, and it bit the hook out. And he got really mad at you for <laughs> using that hook. Hey, John Farr, John Farr, hold it a minute. John Farr don't get mad at anybody. Hold on just a second. You gonna change that and say John got upset? He got upset. Upset with me or him, himself. With, with probably me and you. <laughs> Joe, let's, let's, let's see if I can get right up and get a close shot of that hook. You still making them, are you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've uh, I got a patent on it now, Roy. You got a patent on it. Right. And uh, trying to get it marketed. So so far, I'm unsuccessful at that. But we're we're keeping on trying. <laughs> well, right now, let's see if we can find a fish over here in Sandy Creek. Yeah. Harry says, "Fish on." Get your fish out of here. Yeah, good on Harry. Good, but we got yeah, it's good. All of good this morning. That's right. <laughs> Cold it is. <laughs> this one, this one you can't I'll pick him up, Bill. See what you got. Oh, you can pick him on up, but he's not too much of a trout, but he, he, is, he is a trout, though. He is a trout. He's yeah, not, he's a good trout. One. We got one. I <laughs> got one. 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 <laughs> oh, uh, Harry has got, has got another. Hey, that's bending your rod pretty good there. That's pretty nice trout. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Another one of the same size, I think. Yeah, that's a good one. Bring him on up here. Okay, come here. All right. They'd be the same one. Oh, you took that one pretty hard. <laughs> you too. that may be the same one. Yeah. <laughs> now I doubt that, Joe. <laughs> Not so sure about that. Huh? Not about a quarter of a mile where we caught the last one. Let's see. Trolling using a green tail Arkansas shad. <laughs> Hold him up there. Who's the biggest, Harry? That's the biggest. That's not mine. <laughs> That's not mine. Gotcha. That's not mine. Yes, sir. I'm turning you loose. Harry's trying to get number four, that 12? Yes. All right. Okay, Joe, it's your time now. <laughs> you got you got the baker's dust, have you, Joe? There he is. There he is. Now, Joe, tell me something now. Let's be honest about it. Now, you were fishing a, a gut bait, right? Right. And he finally said, have you got another one of those? <laughs> Now he's fishing teal. I'm gonna keep him from catching one this time, Joe. I got the camera on. I'm gonna keep it right on your rod. You're there catching you go, one man. about every catch. Oh, there's one coming in over there. <laughs> Number 14. <laughs> I like to see them raw. Oh, oh, I told you wouldn't catch one if I kept the camera on you, Joe. <laughs> turn, turn around the captain. That's Shoot a pretty good there. trout there, hey? You like that one? Yeah. You think that one's big yeah. enough to put in a bucket? I yeah, know. sir. You think so? <laughs> Good. E, not much. Not much? We up here in the intercoastal now. <laughs> Trying to find some bigger trout. 
Oh. Uh -huh. Look at that, we doubled up. I like that. What you think, Harry? I think it's a nice fish. Think it's a nice fish? We got the net right there. Oh, well, it's not that nice, so here he is right here at the boat. Yeah, that's nice shot. Do we need the net? I just okay. eat him on up here. Yeah. So we want to keep that. Y'all can go and give them back there on the back. Let's compare them and see. All right, now let's have a, have a fish, fish off. Here. They're twins. Fish off. Now let's see who's the biggest. Who's the biggest one there? They're twins. They're twins, yeah, huh? Yeah. They're both of them nice trout. Yeah. Got them in the net. How about that? Joe, what do you think about these uh, DOA baits now? Yeah, DOA is great. <laughs> you go. You gonna go back? Go, go back to the gulp. Go back to the gulp. I'll tell you what, I'll stay with the DOA as long as he's catching fish. That's the way to do it. There he is. How he's about that? Catching, got a flounder on. That's right, that's a DOA, right? That's a DOA flounder. I was floating it in the bottom. Got a puller on, have you, Joe? Harry said Joe's got a puller on. Oh. <laughs> Coming on the end of the line. Harry? Yes, sir. If you ever get out of California again and come back to God's world, you give me a call sure. and we'll go fishing again. I tell you what, we've caught 42, I believe, speckled trout. Caught, caught a lot of small ones, but we had a great time, didn't we? Absolutely. <laughs> I did too. Had a wonderful time. Joe, had give me a, a call. Great time. I remember those days. Don't let the price of gas keep you off the water. Sunjammer Water Sports, located one block north of Back Beach Road on Highway 79. What's more important in a side-by-side -side RTV? Is it speed and agility, or is it versatility and dependability? When getting out of the woods is more important than getting into the woods, there is only one name to remember, Kubota. With true commercial grade construction in the chassis and drivetrain, Kubota gives you the dependability, power, and torque you need to get the job done. Kubota builds work tools, not play toys. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mark Nichols molded the world's first plastic shrimp at his kitchen table in 1989. Today, DOA Lures offers four sizes of shrimp in 54 colors along with a complete line of lures for both inshore and offshore use, as well as freshwater. And what I like the most about DOA lures, they are American-made. DOA lures available at your local tackle retailer or go online at doalures.com. Well, you guys had a good time. Oh, well, Joe did. and Harry, <laughs> they're a sport, aren't they? That was some good fishing. We always do. You know, sure, I didn't tell this. Let me tell this story right quick. Yeah. This, uh, this cap here, uh, <laughs> last Saturday uh, ended the uh, deer hunting season with a black powder. Kenny and I decided we'd, hunt, we'd stay morning and afternoon, make a day of it. And we took a break and went in and ate lunch at Chipley. And I walked in with this hat on, it says DOA on it, and and lure right us. You probably can't see the lure. And the waitress, when I walked in, she looked at that DOA, she backed up her eyes, she said, that says DOA, don't that mean dead on arrival? <laughs> I didn't really understand, but Kenny Ray did, he was with me. And uh, he, he explained it to her, said, no, that's a, that's a bait, and said, that's, it's true, said, it's, they're dead on arrival. She throw yeah. that deal away bait. <laughs> I think Mark actually intended it for a deadly on anything. 
Daddy There's on anything? Slogan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl, you you spent you had a weekend last weekend over in Fort Walton and Beach, the Florida Sports. Yeah, magazine it was so show. nice to see the show come back to Fort Walton because they didn't have it the past year, and it was good to see Florida Sportsman come back to Fort Walton again and put on a really really good show. Had a pretty good crowd. You said there on Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday was just amazing. There was a lot of people, a lot of our viewers uh, we got to meet. We have some of the very nicest uh, people that watched the show, so it was really nice to be able to meet people and. Um, hear the comments and just get to see the people. It was fun. But um, there's a couple of people that just stood out. There's this one guy that was actually doing the show, um, Art by Mouth. His name is Tony Ryans. And I tell you, he's just incredible. He's a paraplegic fellow that um, has had an interest in art. And um, ever since he was a young boy, he uh, has learned how to do everything with his mouth. Paralyzed and, from his neck down. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. And and that's Tony. Tony, and, and Tony he, he, he goes and he does these shows, and him and his wife, and they're just an awesome team, and it's just amazing what he has learned how to do to overcome his disability. He's just um, turned it into an art. Pants with his mouth, mm -hmm. and he, he, he's fantastic. And also, I ran into Mark Nichols with DOA Lures, and with the link season coming up, uh, I, I did a little quick uh, tutorial with him on what to use. Uh, from DOA to Catch Lee. So um, we're going to show a short video uh, with Mark and also with the artist Tony. And then we'll go to a bird. We'll be right back. Did you know there were over 1,600 burglaries in Bay County in 2010? Don't let this happen to you. Hi, I'm Todd Bryant, owner of Bay Security Company. With over 22 years combined experience, our company is the one to trust with the safety and security of your family or business. Bay Security Company offers 24-hour burglary and fire protection, access control, pool and medical alerts, and cable and telephone installation. So call Bay Security Company today and rest easier tonight. Whether it's removing dangerous trees or planting new ones, Gulf Coast Tree Specialists can help you with all your tree care needs. Sometimes your tree problems are too big for you to handle. Even if it seems impossible to remove your tree, our licensed, bonded, and insured professionals can always find a way for a fair and reasonable price. We can also remove large and unusual items from your property. And our certified arborists can analyze root problems and evaluate structural issues. At Gulf Coast Tree Specialists, we would like to thank you for your continued support and service over the past 20 years and look forward to serving you in the future. Panama City Gastroenterology specializes in colon cancer screening, gastroesophageal reflux disease, all aspects liver disease, and we do conduct clinical trials. We provide care in timely fashion using our extensive experience and are mindful of health care costs. Folks, if you're 50 years old and haven't had a colon off in the last five years, you need to give Doc a call. For the latest medical news, join us today on Facebook. Panama City Gastroenterology. Mark Nichols with DOA. We appreciate you so much sponsoring the TV show. You're uh, like the, you're our welcome. backbone. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's a gigantic cost to us, and we sacrifice. But <laughs> we sure do it. appreciate you. Well, now the Ling, they're fixing to start running. So, right. uh, of course, we all do use a DOA. So our go-to for DOA for Ling would be what? Uh, ultimately, with Ling, you know, uh, if you go to the east coast of Florida, there could be a, I was raised in Texas, they were always laying there, so we'll stay with Ling. But uh, I want to be able to cast something a good distance if I want to catch a Ling. And in order to cast well, this has got an ounce and a quarter lead head in it. This is our, this is our big one terrorize. It casts very well. Just on a steady retrieve with line entry on the top and the water hitting in front of it, it creates a vibration. It's got a very good, natural, simple swim to it. Same exact theory works with our swimming mullet. This is also a heavy head that allows you to cast it very well. It's an excellent mullet imitation. Let me see if I can pop it out of here in our childproof packaging, which probably lets right, me I, out. I can edit if you can't. That's all right. You we got, got it. it. I ripped it out. <laughs> I'll sell this one at a discount. But this is our swimming mullet. Uh, Captain Blair Wiggins with Addictive Fishing has been using this a lot up here doing his shows. He's throwing this as opposed to an eel. You've got good casting distance with it. It casts very well. Again, very similar theory as with the uh, big one terrorized. Line entry is here. Water hits in front of it, tries to drive this bait downward and creates a swim. It's again, it's chunk it out there and crank it back. Don't overthink it, don't make it too fancy, it swim is the way it should be just on a steady retrieve. As a girlfriend of mine says, it's called an NTR, 
No yeah. talent required. There you go. There Flying you go. it and bring it. <laughs> yeah, keep it simple theory. And then we've got the also probably this is one of the more popular baits on the west coast of Florida for tarpon. This is our trolling model bait buster. Notice a blue header. That's the heaviest jig head that I've got in this bait. I got three styles in the bait buster. This is the heaviest. This is what you'd want to throw. It casts very well. Again, it's got an extremely good just cast and crank, keep it simple type presentation. Throw it in front of the fish and crank it. If you try to outthink them, it's not going to be natural. If you just cast it and bring it back to you, that's the way you want to do it. Uh, simplicity is very important. We also make a six inch shrimp, which is somewhere in a box under there. <laughs> so I'll dig that out. And uh, But that's the primary baits I throw. I could literally catch them on, I've caught a lot of them on my shrimp before, where I live on the east coast of Florida. We've got one place called the Bull Shark Barge. We'll go catch a bonito with a terrorize, bring it up, tie it off behind the boat, put a couple slices in it, it'll start to bleed and it's tied off about 10 feet behind the boat. And that brings the bull sharks up and the bull sharks have cobia with them. Uh, since we're on the east coast now, I'll call them cobia. But, but uh, the ling will follow the bull sharks up. And we'll literally stand there with just like my quarter ounce shrimp. A lot of times, or this is a half ounce, we'll put a circle hook in it if we're catching a 40 pound fish and we'll put a circle hook right in the nose of the shrimp and we'll throw it at the fish and many times in that case you're casting 15 feet because the fish are coming right up behind your boat and they love to eat the shrimp but again you've got to be able to cast to your fish in that case we can cast because the fish come up to us but here I'd be wanting something heavier with the rod always ready loaded and ready to throw at the fish. Great, now do you tie all these with a loop knot? Is I that tie, the way to rig them? I'd still tie everything with a loop knot and in some cases it can almost be even more important with these because suddenly I'm going to a very heavy stiff leader. The stiffer the leader, a cinch knot is going to restrict the way it swims. A loop with say a 60 or an 80 pound leader, this is still going to swim beautifully within that loop knot. Makes a big difference. Gotcha. Very cool. Awesome, Mark. Well, uh, next time we uh, turn the camera on and we talk about ling fishing, we're going to have a ling on the end. Of there you the, go. Uh, I love it when you talk that way. That's good stuff. <laughs> good deal. Thanks. We appreciate you, Bart. I uh, appreciate y'all having me. Thank you. Now, how long have you been doing this? My wife has more patience with me. <laughs> mm, well, I was born this way. I know good looking and all that, but I was born where I never could use my arms or legs, so I've been using my mouth ever since I was really little. And you've always had a passion for painting? Pretty much. You do beautiful work. I used work. to make candles, little and stuff like that, but I kept burning my chin in the hot wax, you know, carving and stuff like that. Take knives and forks and carve the candles, make cool candles. But. Now what, inspir what inspires your art a lot? I know she got a lot of fun colors and a lot of nautical fish. Well, mostly traveling, seeing things. God, you know, it's the best influence. And they to do a U-Pro Rods commercial. We appreciate U-Pro Rods for sponsoring the show. These are really wonderful rods. They've got a lifetime warranty. If you break one of these rock tips, you just uh, send it back to the store that you bought it from and they'll replace it at no charge. They're super lightweight, very balanced rod. Just a super rod, need to get you one. U-Pro Rods. Hi, this is Nate with Mexico Beach Marina, formerly Marquardt's Marina here in beautiful Mexico Beach. Remember, we're a key dealer for Yamaha Outboards as well as a five-star certified service department and are proud now to be a new dealer for Edgewater Power Boats. Our marina store still offers all your latest tackle, live bait, bulk ice, ethanol free fuel and slip rentals. And our beach store has everything you need for your day at the beach with Guy Harvey, Salt Life, Sperry, Top Sider, Hook and Tackle, Bimini Bay and much more. So come on down and see us in Mexico Beach. Hi folks, I'm BJ with BJ's Marine. This has been a family owned and operated business for over 20 years. We pride ourselves in the sales and service of Nissan and Tahatsu outboards. At BJ's we have factory trained and authorized technicians for Nissan and Tahatsu. We also repair most any make or model outboard. Call or come by BJ's Marine Service at 1317 Transmitter Road. And folks, we really do appreciate your business. The spring golfer season is coming in. And uh, I believe it comes in on March the 16th and it runs through April the 22nd. And that's about five weeks. 
Folks, there's plenty of turkeys. I guarantee you, turkeys have made a made a real comeback, now, Cheryl. But they and, probably know when you guys get in the woods. And all of them I've been feeding and seeing <laughs> on my deer stand all season. Probably when the spring gobbler season comes in, they'll be gone. And by the way, they don't seem to be uh, mating yet with a, with a hen because I see gobblers together and I see a bunch of hens, and they. Don't gobble that much. Kenny really heard one last Saturday he gobbled after he flew down because he wheeled up in the morning and got, gobbled a couple of times. And I think he was listening to some hens up there close by. Mm -hmm. So uh, we could have more winter. Yeah. Cheryl, the f you don't remember this, you're too young. But the first mm -hmm. snow that we had in the 20th century happened in the I, the best I remember, about mid-March, about oh, wow. 10 o'clock in the morning, it was cloudy hmm. and cold, and it just started snowing. And the last blizzard we had was in March of 1990. And we didn't have a lot of snow with it, but it stayed uh, down in the low teens, mm -hmm. 10, 12 degrees in places. I that was that. In, that was in March. Mm -hmm. So. We can still That's have right. some more cold. We're not Keep out of the woods. Don't don't pack long gone in the mothballs <laughs> just yet. And we've got a a, a sweepstakes. Yep. Going to continue. Still have the sweepstakes. We got a lot of stuff to give away. We got a fishing trip with two people with Guy Jody Wells at Lake Seminole. We got a fishing trip for two people with Captain Roy Ray, guaranteed to have a good time and catch a lot of fish. Uh, we got some more stand stuff spices. And we got canoe trips to people. Canoe down trip, you can find them. That's right. Yeah. Beautiful time to you know, get ready to go down and can find a creek. And we got some more DOA lures to give away, yeah. some more hats. Tell them how to enter the sweepstakes, Okay, Cheryl. to enter the sweepstakes, you want to email outdoors at captainroy.com or, now this is not a telephone number for the giveaway for the sweepstakes because a lot of people call it, but yeah. to enter the sweepstakes, you can call 722 nine three eight two now you can get your uh, your phone out because we're, we're going to give something away here in just just about a minute but not with that telephone number no not with that telephone <laughs> number yeah my wife she uh kind of runs her crazy because when she caught somebody calls it keep all the callers it keep beeping 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 <laughs> no that's not the number this morning but we are going to give away some uh, doa bait that's right and, and uh, you also want to go to our webpage, which is captainroy.com and the webpage will link you right to our YouTube account. So if you've missed the show, you can always catch it on YouTube and you can get there at CaptainRoy.com. Also, you can uh, get to Facebook link right there. You could go to Facebook and keep up with us on Facebook. And Cheryl's got hers. You, uh, lots of times you've got some good good footage on there. You yeah, show your vision. I do try to put some extra stuff on Facebook. So please go to Facebook and like us and tell your friends to go like us. So. You know, we've got a lot of people watching us on, on YouTube. John Farr, uh, Anderson, South Carolina. I know he's going to be watching this on YouTube. John gave me this pretty shirt, that by the way. You have a problem shirt. seeing it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's nice. <laughs> it's a nice shirt, John. I really do appreciate it. I'm looking forward to you coming out here and going fishing. And uh, We need to give a call, uh, giveaway real quick. Call this number, 832-3106. 832 3106. And sure, we've got to get out of here. Folks, y'all remember to tune us in uh, next week at the very same time. And remember to always try to be as good to him as he is to you. Good day. Okay, folks, it's time to wrap it up and go to the barn.